Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Spectrum Drama, where we take a look at the hottest posts on Spectrum for the week and give our opinions on them. So before we get started, uh, just an announcement that the giveaway has now ended for the Origin G12 Rover. Um, so we'll be announcing that very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled and we'll let you know. And that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so first up we've got a post from Pepzeb and it says, the pace slows. Um, so essentially, the gist of this post is um, a few weeks ago, Pepzeb actually made a post about the progress of 3.11 and how um, he basically couldn't see everything being ready in time, which I think we can all agree with. Um, but he's gone on to basically say that we're now, you know, sort of edging ever closer to what should be going into Eva Carty soon in a couple of weeks. Um, and this patch is very, very light on content very light um he's got a little list here of um what we now have assuming nothing else is taken off the patch uh so we've got one new location um we've got ai improvements which is still scheduled uh we've got improved throw uh, death am animation improvements surrender two new ships one with three variants he puts i've done it in a question mark manner um two new guns buoyancy which is still scheduled and server improvements um that is a very small patch um but we've been saying this we, we've been saying this for weeks now that we think that this next patch is going <laughs> to be a little light on content and there you go it is <laughs> it is yeah yeah i mean there's a lot of uh, although the patch is extremely small it, even if you look at it now that half of this stuff is still scheduled and according to this the updated roadmaps uh, still hasn't even been started so we have to, uh, have to actually see if we get half of what's on this list um, in a month's time uh, I kind of doubt it I expressed this kind of thought on Discord the other day actually um, uh, yeah yeah it, it's not looking great is it no no I mean it's it, it is very light on content it's it's also one of those things where we're kind of we're, we're we're at that situation where we're a month away from what should be the release of the patch, but let's face mm -hmm. it, we're probably two months away from the actual release of this patch. Um, but yeah, yeah, it just it just doesn't doesn't feel ready. Like I, I'm, sh I don't know. Sometimes I, when they get to this point where we've got a patch that's so basic and there really isn't much there i think that's gonna really improve what they should do is take all that stuff off i know it piss people off because there's a couple of ships take all that shit off leave the server improvements and then just fix some stuff you know i think that would be such a better patch just um really really get in on some of the bugs that are pre-existing and have been for years um and then try and have a nice full thick creamy patch in the new year that's my opinion anyway <laughs> full fat cream yeah full fat creamy patch that's what i want <laughs> yeah we've said this a couple of times that we think they should do some sort of just um get rid of one of the releases just to catch up on things and uh, maybe that's kind of what they're aiming for here maybe they're intentionally keeping it light so that they can catch up on some issues that are going on in the background who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not much here to really get people too excited. Um, cargo decks might be good if they actually turn up. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to see if the actual functionality is actually there. I can imagine it coming out in 3.11. Uh, you can walk around, have a look at the place, and that's it. Yeah. Really. Um, functionality will probably come later. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, they've done it before, um, but um, I mean, if that is their goal, if like you say, if, if this is kind of a light patch to give them some breathing space, then fair enough. And I, I fully agree that, you know, if that's what they're going for, then it's a good idea. Um, but if this doesn't impact the next patch in a positive way, then what is going on at CIG? Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> is the thing. Yeah. 
So he does also say near the end of the post, I'm going to read this bit out because I think this is quite apt. I think this this does sum up probably what is going on. Um, so but I don't think the issue is the staggered development as such. I think the problem is that far too many resources have been pulled from Star Citizen to get Squadron 42 finished. Now, this would be absolutely fine if this was the final push for Squadron 42. Um, but it's not. I mean, we're probably a year away from Squadron 42 still or, or more. Um, and yet... If that is the case and Star Citizen is suffering because they're trying, they desperately want to get Squadron 42 finished, this could be a really, really bumpy ride for like another year or more, which is worrying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, this is something we said at the beginning of the year that this year was going to be really bumpy. Yeah. And uh, at the moment, it's looking like this might carry over into next year as well. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, until we really know what's going on with Squadron Forty Two, there's it's just pure speculation at this point. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much all anyone could do at the minute is just kind of a bit of guesswork. Um, I, it would be really nice if in the new year, because I'm not going to expect them to do it anytime soon, but maybe in the new year they can actually kind of give us an update on Squadron Forty Two and uh, what's actually supposed to be happening with it. And um, yeah, maybe it will just give people a better understanding of how they're splitting their resources. Um, maybe this new roadmap will help. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Cool. So next up, we've got a very salty post from Coffee76. Um, and it says, CIG, Star Citizen is and will remain bad. <laughs> Which is, that's a hell of a title. Um, it's a good out outlook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a positive, positive thinking. Uh, so today, after a few days, I've played Star Citizen with a friend. And once again, I had to admit that it gets boring quickly and the level of frustration increases after the game starts. Uh, the reasons are bugged missions that you can't finish, poor pay for missions, especially when you're in a group, which is true. Um, party disbands, 30Ks, crappy servers. Basically, uh, Coffee76's motivation is zero pretty much every day. Um, Basically, Coffee76's motivation is pretty much zero every day. Um, and uh, obviously he's brought up, you know, eight years development and millions of dollars. I have to laugh. I mean, he does have a point to a degree. I think that there's a lot of people out there now who are f feeling the same, not quite zero, because I think that basically just s stop <laughs> if, if your motivation's yeah. at zero. Um, but... Um, yeah, I mean, even I, I mentioned this last week, even I have gotten to that point now where um, maybe there would be a day where I think, oh, I've got some free time, I've gone Star Citizen. Uh, to be honest, now I might think, meh, I think I'd rather just try that game because it works and it's easy and I can just play it. Um, <laughs> and so that does happen, you know, and I think that more and more people are feeling that way at the moment because of a lot of the negativity and the fact that we haven't had too much forward momentum recently. Um, but... I couldn't go as low as low as zero because look at the you know the the video we put out only a couple of days ago where we were saying you know patch 3.10 is like a four cow faces so um, <laughs> you know I can't say zero I, I'm enjoying it at the moment and we're going to be streaming shortly and I'm looking forward to it but I do see his point a little bit yeah yeah I see the point and um, we've seen this come up in Discord a few times as well mm. um, some of the old older backers have kind of dropped off the the edge for a little bit and uh, are off doing other things and that's fine you know if you've got no motivation to play the game in, in commas uh, at the moment then fine don't go play something else mm -hmm. don't stress about it but um but yeah if 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 too many of the community kind of get that feeling and just go off onto other things then that could spell a bit of problems for cig yeah yeah definitely i mean we, we called this uh, again at the beginning of the year um, that, you know, some of the older backers, I think, are probably going to get too long in the tooth for all of the shenanigans that goes on at uh, CIG. Um, and I think we are seeing that now. Um, I mean, I can't foresee maybe anytime soon this game being hindered by its older backers kind of throwing a hissy fit. But I can see there being some form of a hit when they bring out a new ship and a bunch of older backers think, no, sod it, I'm not going to buy it. Out of spite. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> it, it could happen. Yeah, 100% could happen. 
Yeah, I've said to myself I'm not putting any more money in at the moment until I see some progress on gameplay and mechanics and, and all that jazz. And um, now we're seeing a few other people in our Discord uh, kind of saying the same thing. So yeah, it's headed that way. And um, CIG really need to either open up about various things that are being developed in the background or, um, or start pushing some stuff out the door. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, the guys that are actually sort of saying, you know, I'm I'm kind of done at the moment. You know, I'm not really playing it anymore. I'm not buying any more ships. You know, these are people I would like genuinely. I would have put money on last year. Would never have said that. Um, you know, and so we're actually at that point now where people I would look to to be kind of like the the, the backbone of backers is kind of you know waning a little bit, and it's that's that's when you've got to start looking seriously. Like what's wrong here so CIG man yeah. pull your finger out <laughs> <laughs> okay so last up we've got a post from Dell and it says if real life was like Star Citizen a captain would pull his container ship into the harbour at New York carefully navigate the boys to avoid the harbour master blowing up his ship pull up to the dock disembark his ship take the subway to Wall Street and then sell his cargo there <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Do you know, Dell, well put, my friend. That is genuinely, <laughs> genuinely a real life scenario of what would happen in Star Citizen. And it's, it's brilliant. Um, and, and it's always nice to end on something which is <laughs> quite funny. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and true. It's scarily true how ridiculous that actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The current system is a bit of a joke. Um, I feel like they've put that in place uh, to make you use the train system that they, you know, spent hundreds of hours developing. Yeah. Um, but eventually this should kind of go away once we get the cargo decks in place and we've actually got dedicated areas to deal with things like that. Then hopefully it will make a bit more sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's the thing. We, we might not be far off from having cargo decks and stuff like that. So um, it's... It, it's going to feel so nice having done this so many times you know this massive long haul unless you go to Olasar or somewhere like that um, doing these massive long hauls um, just to sell your wares and go off and do it again to then being able to actually kind of go somewhere centralised and sell all your shit without having to, to you know basically do a half marathon um, it's, it's definitely going to make it feel worthwhile uh, when they've got that in game yeah 100% Okay, so there you have it, folks. That is all the posts uh, for this week. Not many posts um, and quite short this week because Spectrum is kind of dead at the moment. There's really not much going on in there, not many people posting. And of the posts that are there, you know, it's it's real slim pickings. So hopefully by next week, something will have happened that will piss everyone off and we'll get to laugh and joke about it. <laughs> we'll see we'll see um but yeah we hope you liked it we hope you found it informative or amusing if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more star citizen content and um, don't forget to jump into those comment sections we're not giving you anything at the moment but we just enjoy it we like to see what you guys have to say about these posts so uh, yeah drop a comment down below and um don't forget if you can or if you would like to sign up to our discord uh because there's a bunch of cool people in there and um you know we play other games and we chat about all kinds of stuff so uh yeah it'd be nice to have you i think that is pretty much it so uh yeah thanks everyone very very much for watching and we'll see you again next week bye 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 bye